Um, but as soon as I got the the scripts, I dove as much as I could into it because it's endless source material. So, you know, books like New Spring were, were very helpful for me. Of course, I the world, but just for character building. Hi, I'm Jonathan Bloomberg, writing for a movie scene in Sweden. Nice to meet you. I'm I'm looking at all your background posters and and all your stuff. That's a really really cool setup. Thanks. Um, you you might end up uh, here one one day. It's my my shrine of people I've done interviews with. So so now you qualify. <laughs> it would be my honor. Yeah yeah. So uh, I obviously watched the first season when it uh, came out, uh, and I've also been honored enough to to have a peek at the first three episodes of the second season, and. Um, uh, I, I know that you guys were already taping the, the second season while the first one was uh, coming out, uh, or at least about to. So I was wondering a bit how, how that experience was, uh, having spent so long time uh, developing the show and then having it come out and still being shooting it while it's coming out as well. Uh, how was that experience for you? It's very unique. It's very unique. I mean, it's a massive show. Um, I mean, I can tell you right now we're shooting season three. I, I'm home now. I've been here for two and a half weeks, three weeks. They're still shooting. Yeah. <laughs> still shooting. Wheel of Time is actively shooting. So, but that's kind of what I, I was hopeful for when I took the show too, is that the cast would get so large. I knew there were so many characters in Robert Jordan's world that we would have breaks and it wouldn't be, you know, nine months straight of shooting for everyone. So it's nice to have some time off, but it's very surreal because we've been working on the show for four years and season one is all that's been out. I mean, season two is coming out soon, but um, yeah, it's really interesting. It's, it's a machine that keeps moving. And um, then you watch back, like I've seen most of season two and some of the stuff I forgot that we did. And I, I just had an interview where he said, do you remember your first day of work on season two? And I thought, I don't really remember where I was in the world. Yeah. But it's tricky. It, it it's it's a mix um th this is and since uh, things didn't end up the way uh, your character and uh, moraine's character kind of were hoping it were were going to and if it would we wouldn't have all these other seasons i guess as well so it's a double-edged sword there uh, but but it, 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 your character has to kind of deal with that aftermath now and uh, how how was those scenes to shoot with uh, rosamund it's it's tricky because Rosamund and I have become so close, right? So yeah. we're very used to being together. Um, and we created sort of this like symbiotic relationship where we kind of, it's it's like kind of art imitating life or vice versa, life imitating art, where I kind of know what she's thinking and we'll, we'll move the same way and we'll, we'll have the same order from crafty or the same dinner order. It's very strange. So being split away from her took me some time to get used to. Like, this is the first time I've done interviews without her. We always do interviews together. Um, so it was fine. <laughs> it's important for the characters to live on their own, create their own energy, have their containers. So that was, um, it was a bit frightening, but uh, I think it worked out for the best. Good to hear. Uh, so now when you've, stepped into this world for a, a while now almost four years as you said um how, how much did you know about uh, this world prior to entering uh, into this project uh, from before were you a fan uh, before or did you become one after entering it now no i didn't know much about the wheel of time i've been yeah i, I do about the lord lord of the rings and things like that my fantasy sort of experience was very much with like um like princess bride dungeons and dragons things like that yeah. growing up you know in the 80s um but as soon as i got the the scripts i dove as much as i could into it because it's endless source material so you know books like new spring were, were very helpful for me of course i the world but just for character building um i'm it's just an honor to be a part of it it's really and now they're doing some of the um the novels, the new, the novels have been recovered, and I think they're putting like some of our characters on the novel covers. It's just so cool, man. So like that kind of stuff makes me, uh, yeah, it's it's kind of like pinch me moments. Yeah, I'm going through the books for the first time with uh, Rosamund as the narrator. So 
Yeah, she's pretty great, right? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, thanks a lot for, for your time and uh, best of luck with the premiere. And I hope we get to speak again uh, when the third season is due. Absolutely. Thanks a lot. <laughs>